So how can you do this problem in 60 seconds or less? The perimeter of an equilateral triangle is 852 centimeters. The three vertices of the triangle line on a circle, the radius of the circle is W root 3. What is the value of W? Let's draw this out. So this is going to be a triangle right here. This is going to be the center of the circle with a radius of W root 3. The side is 852 divided by 3, which is 284. Now, if you extend this out, you're going to get a right triangle. So therefore, 284 times root 3 over 2 is equal to 3 root 3 W over 2. Cancel this out. Cancel this out. And you have W is equal to 284 over 3. How was I able to do this problem so fast? I definitely use a bunch of shortcuts. So let me go through them in more detail. So let me draw a bigger circle like that. Now on this circle, let me draw an equilateral triangle, which is inscribed into this very circle. Okay. Now the perimeter of this equilateral triangle is 852 centimeters. So when we divide 852 by three, we are going to get 284. If you're not sure about this, it's equal to 600 plus 240 plus 12 all over three is equal to 284. So each side of this triangle is 284. It's an equilateral triangle. Now, the next thing is to draw the radius of a circle, which is W root 3. So it's somewhere here in the middle. This is W root 3. This is also W root 3. This is also W root 3. Now, think about uh, the thing about these three triangles formed by, you know, by the like inside of this equilateral triangle so i'm talking about this triangle i'm talking about that triangle and i'm talking about this triangle they're all equal to one another because of the sss because w root 3 are equal to each other and 284 is also all equal to each other so therefore all three triangles are congruent since they are congruent this is 120 degrees this is 120 degrees and this is also 120 degrees because they all have to be equal to each other and they do add up to, to 360 right so 360 divided by 3 you're going to get that 120. so therefore we also know that each one of these orange triangles are also isosceles right so this angle is equal to that angle which is equal to 30 so this is equal to 30 this is equal to 30 and so on and so forth why is that important we know that, for example, this angle right here is equal to 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle. So if we are to extend this line further, we're going to get a triangle where this is 60, this is 30. So this angle must be 90. That's very important. The reason why that's important is because now we know that this line is a height, it's an altitude, but it's also an equilateral triangle. It's also an angle bisector and it's also a median. And there's one very important trick to know about, about essentially the point of intersections of medians or altitudes is like if you extend this side, it also turns out to be an altitude. This also turns out to be an altitude. Therefore, this point of intersection will split uh, this line at a one to two ratio, rather two to one from the vertex. So we can say that uh, this segment is equal to 2b and this segment is equal to b because again the point of intersection of altitude is split as two to one um towards the uh, from the vertex from the from this vertex so we have w root three equal to b from here right from this region now we need to find the whole altitude the whole altitude is going to be equal to 3b so 3b will be how do we get from 2b to, to 3b we just multiply this by 3 over 2 so similarly we multiply this side by 3 over 2 so we get 3 root 3 over 2 w is equal to 3b so this side this big big purple side is equal to 3 root 3 w over 2 now this angle is equal to still 30 degrees so when we have 284 cosine 30 degrees all right, so 284 cosine of 30. That is supposed to give us the side, the altitude, which is 3 root 3 w over 2. Now, what's cosine of 30? That's root 3 over 2. So 284 times 
times root 3 over 2 is equal to 3 root 3 w over 2 cancel 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 so you get 284 is equal to 3 w or w is equal to 284 over 3 which is the answer now how did i do this fast right without having to draw like any of this stuff well because it's mostly most likely on the sat that the ratio of the size of w root 3 is 2 to 1 right so it's like i'm intuitively assuming that's the case right like Without doing much of this calculation, when I do the calculation, of course, I verify that my theory was correct. The answer is 284 over 3. That's it.